And Mary has some really, um, I find quite emotional things that she's written down about different memories that she's had. And uh, I was going to ask her whether she'd be comfortable maybe reading one of those out or so. Some of them relate to children, which may um, trigger some of you ladies who have uh, who've had miscarriages or um, who have lost children in some way. Um, some of them relate to other issues, but if she can pick one out that she's comfortable with, then maybe read one. Just to give you a bit of an idea of uh, the kinds of emotions and maybe explain a bit of background about how it's going down.
gave birth to, the, to a son uh, whose name is Benjamin. And she, um, because she was a single mother and pregnant and only, oh no, sorry, single, single mother and 15 years of age, in Israel at that time, the pregnancy meant that you would obviously commit adultery was the way that they saw it. Or, and so it was something that was life-threatening. If you had a baby at that age, you, there was a high likelihood you'd be slain to death. So, um, so in order to care for her baby, she had to, to get food. She had to hide her baby to go and get food and then come back and pick up the baby. One of those times she couldn't come back to her baby and her baby died. And that's one of the experiences that she had in the first century. Which is that feeling that many of you mothers have, isn't it? Of worry about what's going to happen to your children. And that perhaps if something bad's happened to them that it must have been your fault. So that's a very dominant emotion in many mothers. So, thanks for sharing that. Mm. Um, with the 14, these emotions are like, they're not like pictures, you know. You hear a lot in New Age philosophy that memories of, you know, of past lives are just like pictures that enter. Um, and that's not how it is. Um, for people that have been reincarnated. For people that have been reincarnated, the, there are just a whole series of emotional memories that after you have the emotions, then the pictures often come after that. And so, uh, so that's why a lot of this stuff when we're processing it is very intensely emotional. And for Mary, this feeling when she had it was like it happened the day before, like that event happened the day before. And that's the very same, very much the same with some of your emotions you'll find. Is that you, if you process some emotions that are about events in your childhood that are distressing, you'll actually find that it's like it's just happened yesterday when you access that emotion. And the key is to not be afraid of that, but actually allow that experience. 